Okay, so this is my first video. I'm going to talk about some of the costs associated with building a modular house. Uh, some of you will be building a single wide, some of you will be building a double wide, some of you will be doing a triple section home. Uh, these are costs that will give you a good idea of what exactly you need to be suggested, uh, what exactly you're going to be hearing um, from a modular dealer. Now the modular dealer is not the builder nine times out of ten. He is not the general contractor. General contractor will be someone who signs off on the project. You're most likely buying the house from an approved dealer who works directly with the manufacturer. And we can get into some of that, those differences in another video. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a typical. Uh, I'm actually not going to use a typical. Corporate. I'm actually going to throw a little bit of a curveball here. I'm going to use this triple section floor plan, I don't know if you can see it here. So this triple section floor plan is actually one that is a standard render uh, from the factory. I won't get into the factory. Uh, I made a few changes with the buyer. Uh, however, these costs are going to be associated with really any full development on a piece of property, whether you're having um, a full land clear, uh, your land's fully cleared, whether you're doing a septic tank or hooking up to some sort of city services, uh, these costs are going to pretty much cover you. So if you want to get a notepad and a pen down and write some of this, uh, we'll go through this list uh, and I'll try and make it as uh, quick and as detailed as I possibly can. So this triple section is a, uh, I'm sorry here, this is a 28 by 76. This is a big house. Um, the invoice, but that's all in my cost here. So moving along, uh, delivery, uh, this house particularly, particularly came from the central of central part of Florida, uh, to its destination. Uh, the delivery cost was roughly, uh, $8,500 to $9,000. So you can put $9,000 on top of your base price. Uh, and all these are going to be on top of the base price. So delivery, $9,000. To set the house up, to lag the two, the pieces of the house together, to possibly put up a knee wall, uh, you're going to be looking up looking at a setup cost. The setup cost can be anywhere between $7,500 for a single section home up to, I have $14,500 uh, in this for this triple section home. And that will give me the lag bolts as well uh, and some of the finishing in the drywall depending on the contractor that you use. So I also have some money in here for drywall. We'll get into that. A crane. Now with an off-frame modular, you're going to have a crane on site most likely to lift the home up onto its crawl space or stem wall foundation. If you're going up on stilts, uh, you're definitely going to need a crane. Some of the larger stilt foundations I've seen, 16, 17, 18 feet. The house is usually 30 feet up in the air if you have to clear trees. It's quite a sight. So your crane, $6,000. HVAC, again, it's going to depend exactly how high you have to go, how large your house is. For a 2,400 square foot house like this, uh, roughly $6,500. That's going to include hooking it up. That is a split system. Uh, for a house 2,400 square feet, what you roughly do is take this per square footage price of the house, excuse me, you take the square footage of the house divided by 500, and that should give you your um, AC size. There's a certain term for that. I'm drawing a blank right now. I'm sure I'll be corrected. $6,500 for AC. Uh, steps. Uh, this person was actually going to put this house up on a stilt foundation. They wanted a very basic stilt or a very basic step up to the stilt foundation. Uh, I put in $10,000 for a very basic uh, 15 tread by, by four and a half foot wide staircase. Um, and that could possibly be a little higher. That could be lower depending on what you want. Usually $10,000 for a good set of wood steps going up to a stilt foundation. Uh, if you just have a simple three block high stem wall, steps, front door, back door, and a side door, you're probably gonna be looking at around $3,000, and it could be as low as 2,500. 
getting into the foundation. Now what you want to do with foundation here to, to calculate what exactly it's going to cost you on a stem wall foundation. I'll hold this up here. In future videos I will have diagrams and presentations. I apologize. What you want to do here is you want to look at the exterior walls and this center line that's going to run directly down the long ways center of the house. Now because this house does include a porch, the center line is going to include through the porch because that's going to be on the foundation. So what we're calculating is this wall, this wall, here, this long wall, this way, and this bottom line, as well as these two vertical sides. Okay, essentially you're calculating the exterior part of your foundation and alongside uh, and along down the center. So we're going to do some quick calculations here. So we have uh, this extension here. The dimensions are 26 by, or excuse me, 26 feet 8 inches plus 15 plus 15. And you can see here 56.8 feet represents this linear length from here all the way down to this exterior wall. Okay, now we're going to take 76 feet plus 76 feet plus 50 feet, 258 feet 8 inches is going to represent this exterior linear, this exterior linear, this exterior linear, the exterior linear from here to here, we don't want to get charged twice for this extra 25 feet, this interior linear from here all the way under directly under your house, and this exterior linear on the outside. Now we're going to add 28 plus 28, 314.8 linear feet. And that is going to represent these right here, these last 28 feet on our foundation. Now that's going to be 314.8 linear feet. Now, to find out what it's going to cost us, some dealers will have different prices. Let's go ahead and take a rough estimate of $65 per square foot. So we're at 314.8 linear feet after we've added up this entire amount. Don't forget the center and along here. We're going to times this number by 65. That's going to give us a rough foundation cost of $20,462. That is backwards, but I promise you it is $20,462. Now that's what you're going to expect to pay. Uh, I'm sure a lot of contractors are going to feel comfortable charging at a $65 foot uh, cost because there's a little bit of money for them to make some money in that. The foundations are kind of squirrely. There are a lot of things that uh, have to go into it, especially here in Florida. Uh, engineers have to get involved most of the time. And $65 per square foot is a good number if you think of when speaking of a stem wall foundation, three block high, maybe even as high as four or five. Uh, land clearing, depending on what you're clearing, big trees in diameter, as wide as me, I'm, I'm a decent sized guy. Uh, if you can hug the tree and barely wrap your hands around it, that's going to be a thousand dollar tree to remove. And I suggest probably trying to keep something like that because it's probably quite nice in your in your yard. Um, but slightly scrubbing an acre, you can probably find someone on Facebook to knock that out for uh, roughly uh, fifteen hundred bucks, two thousand dollars. If you're clearing a pretty heavily wooded lot, you're going to expect to probably pay um, five to six thousand dollars per acre. Uh, dirt is about 200 to 250 per load. It's a special kind of dirt. It's a 50-50 ratio of clay and sand for compaction ratios. You don't want your house sinking. Um, 200 bucks per per load is a, is a, is a good uh, number to go with. Uh, culvert and apron. DOT aprons, we're not going to get into. Those are a little more expensive off a county maintained road. Uh, but a culvert and apron, if you do have to bring in some extra dirt to fill, uh, to span uh, some sort of a uh, ditch, uh, that'll be extra money. Usually your culvert is going to cost you around 2500 bucks, and spanning or filling and, and 
covering over that. Roughly, you're going to be spending about 4500 bucks for a culvert and simple apron. Uh, a Department of Transportation apron or a DOT apron, you can expect to pay around 10000 sometimes twelve five for something like that. And it does not include your driveway. Be sure of that. DOT aprons are probably 16 by 30 wide. Permits and impact fees. What's going to happen with permits and impact fees most likely is uh, if it's out of state, if you're using someone out of county or out of state, they're going to have a permit runner. Usually permit runners are going to charge around $1,100 to $1,200 depending on how much work is into it, plus the permit fee, which could be as high as uh, $1,500 to $1,600. If you see anyone charging over $3,800 on permits, make sure you ask them to kind of why. Um, impact fees here in some counties in Florida are as high as $24,000. It goes for quite a few things, uh, which improve your life in the area. Um, what do we have next here? Dumpster and a potty. We always bring those because you have guys on job sites. Uh, you don't want a messy job site. You always want to have a dumpster for them and a potty for obvious reasons. Usually that's going to cost you around 1800 bucks. Uh, contract for engineering. This is a number that I always prefer to ask, who is your contractor? Um, I don't really care about the engineering as much. Uh, engineering, you know, is going to be done right. But the contractor, he could just be getting paid to literally slap a signature on there. Some people probably won't like me saying that. Um, but in this case, if, if you're getting charged over four thousand dollars for a contractor fee um you're you you usually synonymous that with uh or usually expect to come with a, a really good job um, that's a lot of money for someone to put a signature on there be aware of your contractors um what do we have next here uh septic hookups and septic and well this is a, something we'll have to get into in another video. Uh, usually a septic is going to cost you between $7,500 and $12,500, depending on what exactly has to be done, what kind of septic. Um, a well. Uh, I've put wells in on the river in St. John's County, and my invoice has been $5,000 before. I've put wells in in the middle of Georgia, and they've been $12,000. It's going to depend on how deep you have to go to get that water. Um, how big the bore size is of the well itself, how big the horsepower pump is, how much water you need to pull. Usually for a, a residential family size home, a, uh, a four inch well with a one horsepower pump is going to be sufficient enough. And here in Florida, we go about 150 to 200 feet tops. And you can get a well done for about, like I said, 5000 to $7,500. And that should include hooking up as well. If not, plumbing should only be about an extra fifteen hundred, which is very reasonable. Uh, your final grade. Some some people won't charge you for a final grade. Some contractors just throw that in there. Uh, some grading companies or clearing companies will come back out and they'll grade for you. Uh, we always put a final grade in there just in case it's sloppy and we need to get a a, a dozer out there or something to to make sure the the job site is clean. Uh, usually a final grade does sometimes include sod. If you want that, make sure you ask. Electrical power poles or pedestals. In Florida, we like to elect for pedestals. It looks cleaner if you, if you have to have it. Uh, you can do a power pole. Uh, usually that's going to cost around $3,000 to $4,500, depending on how far you have to go with that power line to get to your pole or pedestal. Flooring. Let's get into the interior stuff. Now, flooring, if you want to do the tongue and groove uh, floating flooring, the, the good fake hardwood, the laminate stuff, which is, is a very fine product, you can expect to pay around uh, $6 per square foot. Very reasonable. You can get that down by going to Lowe's or Home Depot, purchasing it, and giving it to uh, your GC on the project and saying, please install this on site. This is one of the things that you can omit from a modular order are floors. Uh, trim and drywall. This is one of the things I said we always put some extra money into. I've ran into instances with some uh, modular multi-story homes where 
you get the first two boxes set you're pulling up the third to go up on top and all of a sudden the heavens open up and you lose about ten thousand dollars in drywall a solid contract and a, a good crew can mitigate some of those issues uh, however i always like to put a little bit of money in there just in case things like that happen and i don't have to go back to you the consumer and say hey i need 8500 bucks for this drywall because i'm not going to eat that cost uh, it is a cost of doing business unfortunately uh, proper timing and making sure that you cooperate with your builder and your gc stay out of their way keep them happy will go a long ways um, these guys are, are, are busy and uh, i work with quite a few modular builders in my time a lot of dealers and i can tell you that they don't like when customers hound them um, it's an unfortunate part of the process i know a lot of people won't like to hear that however it is unfortunately part of the business um, if someone tells you seven months and they're running a little behind unfortunately it does happen uh, and drywall can be a big part of that uh, ends paint uh, exterior paint stucco hardy board vinyl uh, skirting stucco skirting um, bricking the exterior they're all things you can do in a modular home just depending on how creative and how good your gc is um, stucco and hardy board are usually going to be around the same price for a house i always prefer to do a stucco finish on my modular uh, stilt homes because they're usually in a in a more robust environment um, but a hardy product a cement product looks great usually you can do a home like this like i said a larger home with a larger exterior wall surface area uh, for 12 five to fifteen thousand it just depends on exactly who your contractor is that is one of the things that your contractor will most likely upcharge on because that is a service that they have to buy third party most of the time most manufacturers will not include the exterior siding with the home and if they do make sure that's a question you ask because that is some money that you can save if you're vigilant but please do not undercut your modular mobile home site built dealers this is uh, a way that they pay their family uh, feed their families and honestly we provide a good service and, and we have to make a little bit of money ourselves in the back end um, those are really only the, the two things that I, I can see that um, people would upcharge on uh, a lot of these services are, are cost uh, or, or cost plus service which is de a determined amount um, surveys surveys are done prior um, to a loan closing if you are doing uh, some sort of a loan um, or a mortgage on a land home package um, if you're not if you're paying cash please get your surveys if you're anywhere near water please do your your base elevation surveys if you have a fear of possible wetlands please do your wetland delineation surveys it can save you a lot of money it can save you a lot of time it can it can save you building on your property in the long run um, it is a necessity as well as your boundary surveys but please do not skimp on surveys they will save you possibly demos we'll get into demos in another video that's a whole nother story uh quickly go over it uh single section mobile demo on a property and Holloway you're looking at five to six thousand dollars um, but we can get into that so I hope you've kept notes uh, that's everything that we charge in a mobile modular uh, build whether it's a single wide double section or triple section those are the costs associated and if you have any questions please feel free to reach out that's why i am starting this page is to help people navigate the mobile and modular home sales process i really appreciate you sticking with me for 20 minutes and i look forward to uh, the next video thanks